All right, the numbers are in official numbers here this year. It was the women who rule college basketball and for the first time ever, the women's championship game had more viewers than the men. Otis Livingston is here now and here they are. Oh, those are the numbers. Yep. 18 point, basically 19 million for the women's championship, 15 million for the men, 4 million more people watched it. High level basketball being played on the women's side. What do you think is going on here? It certainly is. And, and let's not forget that Caitlin Clark is part of the reason why. Last year, and it was controversy. Remember in the national title game, uh, LSU's Angel Reese did this to her. So a lot of people were stoked about that kind of rivalry. Drama. And then to watch them see, them see them play again this year in the Final Four. A lot of eyes watching that game, right? Um, I mean, in, in, in the Elite Eight. But in the Final Four, you had Caitlin Clark's story, but even bigger story. South Carolina going for their second title in three years. Don Staley is a superstar as far as a head coach, uh, and that's a team that's going to have a lot of their players come back next season. Uh, Caitlin, of course, got the headlines because of what she was doing, scoring all those points and everything like that, setting records. But South Carolina, that was another great story. UConn was a great story, of mm -hmm. course. Paige Beckers, you know, there's a lot of stars in the game now, and people are tuning in to watch them. And the shooting, the basketball level has elevated to really new heights. It certainly Fun has. And I, and I think it's going to be sustainable. You got freshmen like Juju Watkins from USC. You got Hannah Hidalgo from Notre Dame. A lot of stars in the game. UConn just signed the number one player in the country too. So they'll reload. And we're most certainly going to be watching. Otis, exactly. Thanks so much.